have a name. Manuel Paleologos, nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous Janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templars' army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key. That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting, but not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Bayezid's throne. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is canon. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Ezio. Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleologos. Paleologos? That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleologos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his Janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel. Get the information you need. Then kill him. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. Daisy.
Vibe. Was that a bomb or something? That's my teeth. Bring you steady. I send the proclamation to the people of Constantinople. He wishes it to be known that his father cannot resist it. And those who prove loyal now may be well rewarded. Those who do not wish to live in There are reports of unpleasantness coming out. Selim understands our plight. The Byzantines, the Mamluks, the Safavid. Only he has the courage to face these threats. Mark, listen. Selim is a warrior, like Osman and Mehmet. So why has our Sultan chosen a cap over our life? citizens of Constantinia. A servant of our Sultan Ahmed has fallen shares at the, the Sultan's hands of a calm criminal temperament. and been stripped of his they garments. They are too much alike, I Be feel. on the lookout for any suspicious activity. Citizens, beware. A killer stalks our streets without conscience, targeting the servants of our Sultan. The Janissaries have dedicated their lives to the protection of the Empire. Return the favor and find this killer before he strikes again. Go on, get out of here. Why does Ahmed linger in the city? He knows he's not wanted. He is like a moth hovering around an open flame, waiting for his father to perish so that he may step to the throne. Did you hear he offered Tarek a sum of money in exchange for our loyalty? God damn you! Kardesh Larim! One of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumps like a mound of rubbish. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Any news from the north? Selim's forces have fallen back to Varga. Heavy losses, I'm told. Olajak Shady, Nilme. I pray for a swift conclusion. Yes, but in which direction? I cannot say. My heart sides with our Sultan, but my head hopes for Selim. Sultan Bayezid is a good man, and a kind Sultan, but he has lost the fire that made him great. No, no, he's still a fighter. Look at the army he has raised against Selim. This is further evidence of his decline, to take up arms against his own son? Do not bend the truth to match the contours of your passion. It was Selim who attacked our soul. Ebed, Ebed, but Selim did it so for the glory of the Empire, not himself. I would like a word with you! So why did your parents not consider the engagement anyway? I would have made your sister a great husband. Are a few warts, amputations, and halitosis not offset by my inestimable qualities? Looks like another dull one, huh, boys? 
Why don't we go bother the money lender? Muzaffer can squeeze some money out of him while I inspect his wife. Tarek, a message for you. Tarek, you are The rifles have arrived in Cappadocia, where Manuel has garrisoned his army. And our men, are they still with him? Evet. They will contact us when the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Effendum. Evet. For once. of Suleiman's investigation. You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect would come of such treachery? I blame myself. Not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush. Preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadocia. Destroy them if you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah Ashkila. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. I am getting tired of this uniform. Ah! Get 
Tarek was not traitor, Suleiman. He too was tracking the Byzantines. What? So did you... I'm sorry. God forgive me. You should not have been so quick to judge. He was loyal to your grandfather to the end. And through his efforts, we have the means to save your city. Tarek... 
should not have been so secretive. What a terrible way to do a good thing. The weapons were taken to Cappadoce. Can you get me there? Yes, of course. I will arrange a ship to take you. Suleiman! Suleiman! I have been set up and made to look a traitor. Do you remember Tarek, the Janissary? The man you quarreled with? He has been murdered. It is no secret that he and I were at odds. Now the Janissaries will accuse me of this crime. This is terrible news, Uncle. When war gets back to my father, he will banish me from the city. Ah, forgive me, nephew. I was not aware that you had a guest. This is Marcello, one of my European advisors in Cafe. Buonasera. Marcello, my nephew and I have a private matter to discuss. As I said, there will be a ship waiting for you when you wish to leave. Grazie, mio principe. We will track down the perpetrator of this crime, uncle. Have patience. Enjoying the poem? Who are these men he condemned to hell? Political opponents. Men who wronged him. Alighieri's quill cuts deeply, no? See, it is a subtle way to seek revenge. Ezio, I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoli in a few weeks to visit a new printing press there. That should be fun. It is a five or six day ride from here, and I will need an escort. Prego. Oh, I'm sorry. You are a busy man. Sophia, I would love to accompany you, but my time is running short. That is true for all of us. Well, I can try to solve this last code now, but I need to run an errand before sundown. Can you wait a day? What do you need? It is silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. Nessun problema. Are you sure? It would be a nice change of pace. Bene. Meet me in the park east of Aya Sofia, and we will trade. Flowers for information.
You look like a man with money to spend. What do you need, Dostum? Tulips. White, if you have them. Ah, tulips. Uh, uh, forgive me, but I am fresh out. Uh, something else, perhaps? It is not my call, unfortunately. All right, listen. I may know where to get fresh tulips. You wait here, and I will return. One hour, two at most. I am not waiting an hour. What is this? A gift. Sit. Che belli, grazie. I wanted to thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. <laughs> you are a mystery, Ezio Auditore. Mi dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. Sembra squisito. Why, thank you. Any luck with the final code? Ah, the code, si. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough.
They say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. Abbas, what a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. If our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Shh. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. Many thanks. What brings you here, old man? Pity, Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life, shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor. And unlike Al Mualim or Al Tahir, he never betrayed us. Nonsense. Al Tahir was no traitor. He was driven out. Unjustly. Ugh. Is it... Is it you? I heard the rumors, but I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been... a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayin to keep us from the castle. Fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. So, where do I begin? With us. You say these men are cruel. Has anyone raised his blade against an innocent? Alas, yes. Brutality seems to be their sole joy. Then they will die, for they have compromised the Order. But those who still live by the Creed must be spared. You can trust in us. What are you waiting?
Mentor. Welcome. Shh. You do not want to get him killed. Follow me to the castle, and spill no blood if you can help it. Decades have passed since we last saw you within these walls. We could use your wisdom. Now more than ever. Mentor has returned! My respect, Mentor. For a bat! I fight for you. For the order. Welcome home. My blade. Welcome back, Mentor. Your presence honors you. Yes, I am! Always an honor. Die! Together for I'm victory, done. Mentor. Welcome back, Mentor. Mentor. Tell your men to stand down! No! I am defending Mashaf! Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life, staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. I learned many things from the apple. Of life and death, of the past and the future. Let me show you. I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family, my father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. 
I hope there is another life after this one. Then I will see him and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time, we will find you. And then there will be no doubts. An old man, and still he fought to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life, from beginning to end. He had no other. Hey, there are trains of people in Germany! I'm gonna make another one there!